The Client Dashboards feature in Megalytic enables you to give clients real-time online access to all their reports. Here's how they work. Suppose you're an agency named Great Metrics, and you've created a bunch of reports for your client, Jason Cupcake. Say you'd like to give Jason access to these reports, but you don't want him to be able to edit them. You don't want him, for example, to be, to be able to go down and change the chart types, um, or the metric types, or delete anything. Do the usual stuff you would do when you're editing megalytic reports. You just want him to be able to view the reports, print them as PDFs, and change the dates, maybe export some of the uh, charts as images. That's where client dashboards come in. You can give your client access and allow him to interact, like changing dates, but not edit the structure of the reports. To set up client dashboards for JSON, we're going to click on Admin, select Manage, and then go to the Clients tab in the center. Here you will see a place labeled Site URL where you can enter the domain that you want to use to host your client dashboards. This is where your client will log in to access their reports. By default, this is set to client-dashboards.com, but you can use the white label feature to enter your dom own domain here. Let's say we want to use dashboards.greatmetrics.com. So we enter that and click Save. Now the next step is we add clients. <clears throat> We're going to add Jason. Type in Jason Cupcake. And his email, let's say, is jason.cupcake at yahoo.com. Click here to send him an invitation. That's going to send Jason a link that he can use to set his password and then log into his client dashboard. Next, let's go down to Access and select the reports that we're going to give Jason access to. We pick Jason Cupcake as our client, and then we're going to see a list of the reports here. Let's say we want to give him access to these first three reports, Campaign Report, Month Over Month, and Yearly Summary, but not to November Summary because let's say that one's not finished yet. Click Save, and now Client Dashboards are set up for Jason. So now let's go over and see th how things look on Jason's end. I'm going to switch browsers and uh, let's say this is Jason's email. He uses Yahoo Mail. Here's the email we just sent him from john at greatmetrics.com. Go in here <clears throat> and we see it says, Dear Jason, Great Metrics has created an account for you so that you can access your reports online. Click here to verify your account and set a password. So Jason's going to click there. And it's going to take him to the login screen for dashboards. Now, the first step is for him is to just add a password. So let's say he just uses JSON123. We'll confirm that. It says his password's been saved successfully. And now it's going to take him to his client dashboard. And you can see, using the white label URL, we're hosting this at dashboards.greatmetrics.com. Here's the three reports we've given Jason access to. So let's say he comes in, he's interested in seeing the yearly summary report. He can download the report as a PDF by clicking here. He can also export charts as images by clicking on the little PNG icons. And he can also change date ranges. For example, suppose he's scrolling through and he looks at this conversion rate chart and he sees oh, the conversion rate has been dropping over the year. I wonder what happened uh, over the last two years. You can simply click on the date picker, change last 12 months to last 24 months, click apply, and now he sees the, what's been happening with conversion rates over the last two years. So that's how client dashboards work. It's pretty simple.